Hey everyone, it's Catherine from 85th and Pine, and in today's Inkscape video, we're going to, going to be talking about some more path options, and this one will be on intersection. So as you can see on my screen right here, I uploaded a zebra um, from online, and it's already an SVG, and I typed in with the text and font tool the word zebra. So I also unified this into one piece, which is a separate video. It was the previous video on Inkscape. So please refer to that video before doing this as well if you're using a cursive font. So anyway, I went ahead and unified my font into one piece. And I'm gonna go ahead and just copy and paste this, um, this text right here. So Control C and Control V on your keyboard. And I'm just gonna put this copied one to the side, but first I'm going to take the fill color out of there. So I'm gonna go down to the bottom left hand side where there's an X at the bottom right here and select that for no fill. And if you need to change your stroke color, which is the outline of the text, you can do that. I'm just going to keep it as red, but you can do it down here as well by right clicking and set stroke. So anyway, we're going to keep that off to the side and I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, text that I have right here and drag it down to the icon of the zebra and place it wherever I want to. And now I'm going to select the zebra and the word zebra all together. And once that's all selected, I'm going to go up to path and click intersection. So now it just takes out the pieces of the zebra icon from the outline of the text, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that over to my copied text and place it together. And it will kind of almost click in together as I wanna say, um, so that they fit perfectly. So I'll just zoom in on that a little bit more so you could see. So now if I wanted to save this to my computer and upload it to my Glowforge app to print it, I can do that by just, um, like I said, saving it to your computer, uploading it, and you can select the inside of the word zebra to engrave and the outside, the stroke colors of the text to either cut or score. So it's just something different that you can do. I found that it was really helpful for me. Um, so that was again, just intersection under the path option right here. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you need some more tips and ideas, please feel free to join our Facebook group, Students of the Forge. And if you're interested in buying your own Glowforge machine, please feel free to use my referral code that's listed in the description box below on where you can get money off. Plus I would get credits too, which me and my family always appreciate. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.